And speaking at a recent UWP press conference, the Roseau Central MP and Shadow Minister for Tourism, Joseph Isaac, says the party is strongly recommending a phased approach to the much-needed rehabilitation and enhancement of the city of Roseau. And Isaac says this phased or street-by-street -street approach would assist with the financial limitations that the country faces and its ability to fund a full-on rehabilitation project. He says Roseau remains Dominica's tourism gateway and this kind of enhancement would put Dominica on a platform that strengthens its tourism product. As I said, street by street, include the resurfacing of streets, drains, or the revamping or reconstruction of drains and sidewalk. As I said, we understand that we have Dominica's limitation in regards to financing and we understand the challenge. So we are saying, let's do it street by street, face by face. And in that same vein, in regards to the city, we are also asking for a proper system of garbage collection, which would incorporate into the same street by street improvement of Roseau, and to ensure that we have proper traffic flow. Because I see recently that the police went on its own without the appropriate expertise of let's say a physical planner, an industrial engineer, people who are involved in something we call in technical terms queuing theory that would ensure that the number of traffic coming in, we should have a survey to know what is the capacity of Rosu to be able to um, take in X amount of traffic. In that now we are also talking about adequate parking. And that whole approach for the city would put Dominica on a real platform for the tourism product because that's the first thing tourists see when they enter Dominica, most times. You see that they come straight from Elville Hall and then come down, and then they come to Rosu to go to every aspect of Dominica. They always come to Rosu. And that was the MP for Rosu Central, Joseph Isaac. Stay tuned for